Now what if I had 3.6 divided by 2? What should we do? Let's first try to divide them into two groups. I have these three holes. I want to divide them into two groups. That's the first and that's the second. How shall I divide this among these two groups? What shall I do? We all know that the one whole, the one, is the same as 10 tenths, or I could divide it into 10 tenths. Here, I've divided one, one already into 10 tenths, okay, so I'm going to exchange it as if I cut it into 10 tenths. Okay, now I want to divide these 10 tenths among these two groups, one, two, three, four, five, and then I have the six tenths that I already had them from the beginning, uh, one here, one here, and one here. Now I want to count them, I want to see how much did I put, I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I put eight tenths, so when I divided the 3.6 among, among two groups, I had 1.8. 1.8. What does that mean? Let's see how could we perform the long division to arrive to 1.8 as an answer. Also, we start first with the one, with the ones. Three divided by two. Three, how many twos are there in it? One, I only put one whole when I divided by two. One times two is two. When I subtracted, I had one. Like what we said before, whenever we find the point, we put it. In the quotient, now I put the 6 down. I ask myself, 16, now here pay attention. The one that I put, the one that was the answer of subtraction, was the one whole that I had to divide it into uh, two groups. And here, when I put the 6 down, the 16, the 16 were the small tenths that I had to divide. I had... 10 tenths and I had 6 tenths, the ones that were remaining. So the 16 tenths were divided into two groups. I had 8, 8, sorry, 8 times 2 is 16. Look, it is 1.8.